Okay, so how well do you actually understand basic math? Well, if you have pretty good basic math skills, then this should be a very easy problem to solve without the aid of a calculator. All right, so the question is, which is correct? So this is a multiple choice question, and the problem is 12 divided by 2 times 3 divided by 2. All right, so our first choice, or option A, is 1, B is 36, C is 9, D is 4. All right, the only rule here is no calculators, but if you can figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the question. And by the way, there is no rush here. There's no like, you know, time limit. You have to figure this out in 10 seconds. And I would uh, caution some of you out there that did this problem super quick. You might want to reconsider your answer. All right, so we have 12 divided by uh, 12 divided by 2 times 3 uh, divided by 2. Okay, so we have a fraction uh, here, and we need to simplify this to figure out what is the right answer. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is the following, option C, which is 9. All right, now, how did you do? Well, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional in the area of order of operations. Because if you didn't get this right, uh, you probably made an, uh, an error with something called PEMDAS. Well, that's the acronym, but really what we're talking about here is something called the order of operations, because I'm going to assume that you know how to do basic uh, multiplication, division, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so if you're like saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think you're wrong, I'm right. Well, let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so here is the problem. And again, uh, we need to consider what we call the order of operations. Now, why is this important? Because in mathematics, we have these things called mathematical operators like uh, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, powers, there's other things. And the way, the uh, the order we do this problem is going to make a difference. So for example, we could go like this, two times three, well that's six, so 12 divided by uh, six, right? So two times three, we'll, we'll do that first, and then 12 divided by six is what? Well that's two, two divided by two is one. That looks pretty good. So a lot of you might be saying, hey, see, look, there you, there's the answer, it's one. Well, no, that's not right. Now you might be saying, now this is the reason I don't like math, it's so confusing. But uh, the reason why this is wrong is because uh, you did multiplication first, right? You did this in the wrong order. So we need to understand the correct order to simplify math problems that have different uh, operations involved, like a division, multiplication, things like that. This is a super critical uh, basic math skill. Matter of fact, a lot of people who struggle in math struggle in this particular area. So let's go ahead and quickly review it, and then obviously we'll answer this question. All right, so this is the secret to the order of operations. It's this lovely acronym right here, PEMDAS. All right, now this stands, obviously we've got letters here, it stands for something, but effectively this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Now before I tell you what these letters stand for, let me give you a little memory aid, uh, we call this a mnemonic, to remember this little uh, PEMDAS. It goes like this, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about this. Again, this is uh, the topic of the order of operations. So when we have math problems that have addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, powers, uh, parentheses, what do we do first? Well, we have to follow PEMDAS. Okay, so P stands for parentheses. So if you see parentheses in your problem, you're going to start there. 
Now, it's just not these type of parentheses. It could be these type of uh, parentheses or brackets, actually, or these type of uh, squiggly parentheses. These are called grouping symbols. Now, if you have a math problem where you have parentheses, brackets, and then even other parentheses, you're like, well, what do we do? Well, you always start from the innermost parentheses first or innermost grouping symbols, and then you kind of work from the uh, inside out. Okay, so you do what's inside of here, and then you kind of do what's inside of here, and then you just keep expanding. All right, now, this is not a full lesson on uh, the order of operations. This is just a quick review. If you still need more help uh, with the order of operations, I'll give you some specific suggestions at the end of this video. But to anyways, P, uh, P stands for parentheses, okay, grouping symbols. All right, now, if we don't have any of these, or if we do have parentheses, that's where we have to start. But if we don't, we just move on to the next letter, which is E. Now, E stands for um, exponents. That's what the word stands for. But basically, you can think of this as powers. So if you have something like 2 to the third power, this uh, little number up in the top right is called the exponent. This big number is called the base. The entire thing is a power. Okay, But E stands for exponents, but you can just think of it as powers. So that's what this stands for. You can see this would be pretty confusing if they put P and then P for power. So you'd have two you know, P's in a row. You'd be like, hey, well, what's going on here? Very confusing. All right, so E, again, is exponents or two to the third powers. Now, in our problem, we have no parentheses and no powers. So now we move on to the rest of the letters. And this is where the confusion really happens for a lot of students. Okay, so M, D, A, and S. M stands for, let me just tell you what these letters stand for first. So this is um, multiplication, D is division, A is addition, S is subtraction. Now, it, uh, you know, it seemed like common sense if this is a checklist that goes from left to right, that our next thing that we would do is multiplication. We do any multiplication in the problem, and then we go back to division. Now, if that was true, let's go back to this problem um, right here. Remember, I did multiplication first, okay? I did this. This was six. Well, this was the problem. Okay, this is wrong, all right? So if you're like saying, well, why is that wrong, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Because M becomes before D on your little checklist. Well, this is not the way this checklist works. And I'm sorry to kind of break this to you, but really, uh, the next thing here is M or D, okay? This is a group, multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. Now, I don't think this is... Um, uh, stressed. I mean, a lot of teachers obviously teach this uh, and are teaching it properly, but I think uh, there's not enough problems that really stress this point enough. And when students encounter problems where there is division before uh, multiplication, they get confused because they're, you know, thinking strictly along PEMDAS. Oh, you always have to do multiplication first. Now, if you see multiplication from left to right first, you're going to do that. But if you see division, uh, and you have division and multiplication in your problem, but you see division first from left to right, this is what we have to do. And of course, you can see our first move now is not going to be the multiplication, it's going to be the division. All right, so we'll get to this in just one second, but let's go ahead and finish up this explanation of PEMDAS. Now, I would have to say that this is probably one of the most confused um, parts of the order of operations and basic math. So if you understand this, that is fantastic. All right, so uh, ANS addition and subtraction, work the same way. It's basically whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so that is PEMDAS. And now that you understand the order of operations, we can go ahead and do the math on this problem. All right, so in your head, you don't have to write this thing down, but um, you know, if you're learning this for the first time, you know, it's not a bad idea to write this acronym down. So we're going to go through this. Do we have any parentheses in our problem? No. Okay, do we have any powers or any exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? Uh, or division? Yes, indeed, we do. Which comes first? Uh, multiplication or division from left to right? The division does. So this is what we have to do first. 12 divided by 2. And then uh, once we get the answer to this, this is going to be a pretty easy problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we know that uh, by PEMDAS, we have to do the division first. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay, so now this problem is uh, 6 times 3 divided by 2. Now, anytime you're doing a math problem that is a fraction, basically what you want to do is simplify the numerator and then simplify the denominator and then simplify the entire fraction. So the fraction bar kind of um, 
is a dividing line between two problems. You kind of think of it that way. It's also a division uh, operator as well. But the easiest way to think of fractions as is basically two separate uh, problems. You got the numerator and denominator. All right, so six times three divided by two. This is going to be very, very easy to finish. So six times uh, three, again, we're looking uh, at our uh, operations. We're thinking about PEMDAS. Do we have any multiplication, division? Yes, we still do. So we're still on the M and D portion of PEMDAS. We finished with division, but uh, we have multiplication. Now, you might be saying, what about this? This is like division. Uh, you know, this could be con con uh, confusing. Well, you could think of it this way, 6 times 3 divided by 2. Okay, this right here says 6 times 3 divided by 2. Guess what comes first? Multiplication now, because that's what's uh, um, first from left to right. So either way, we have to do the multiplication. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 9 is the correct answer. Now, also, you could think of this in terms of fractions and um, uh, in terms of factors. So 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. And you could identify these 2s as like factors. Uh, so you can just cross-cancel those 2s. Or 2 goes into 6, 3. 3 times 3 is 9. All right. So, again, basic math, uh, you know, is not so basic for a lot of people. Not because they can't learn this stuff, but really... You know, either one or two things have happened. They either forgot it or they didn't do enough practice or the instruction that they, uh, the person got was really not strong enough. Okay, So it could be any combination of those things. But before we wrap up this video, if you got something out of this, make sure to subscribe. That really helps me out. I'm definitely trying to reach as many people as possible to help them in mathematics. I think there's pretty much an infinite amount of people on planet Earth that could uh, or <laughs> need additional math help. It's probably the number one uh, subject that a lot of people uh, you know, do not like. And that's okay. If you're watching this video and like, hey, that's me. I don't like math. Well, listen, you know, that's perfectly fine. But, you know, you know, not... Uh, just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you don't need to learn it, and hopefully you're inspired to improve. Now, uh, for those of you that need to, uh, you know, actually get better at math or want to relearn math, basic math, I have two great math courses for you. Matter of fact, I got three on the level of math that we're doing right here. So the first is in my Math Foundations course. You'll find links to all these courses in the description of this video. But this is a quick basic math review. It's a three chapter mini course, but I cover all the things that pretty much you learn uh, in, in primary school or elementary school, middle school, uh, up to, in some parts of middle school. Okay, let's just say that. So we're talking about arithmetic, decimals, basic math operations, order of operations, fractions, uh, percent. So this is a great starter course for those of you that want to kind of start rebuilding your math skills. Now, if you want to take it a step further, and you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you should have seen me way back in the 1960s or the 1970s. I was awesome in math. I'm pretty sure you were, but you probably forgot all this stuff. So you want to check out my math skill rebuilder course. Now, here we go over basic math, algebra, geometry, even some uh, basic trigonometry and some probability and statistics. All my courses are self-paced. Now, if you are actually a math student, well, for this level of math, uh, we're probably talking about pre-algebra, so you can check that uh, course out. All these courses will be, or the links to all these courses will be in the description. But uh, hopefully, you got something out of this little video, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.